What is going on guys, my name is here and bringing you guys a brand new video and today I'm going to be giving you guys some tips and tricks powered by Control Freak, one of my sponsors, shout out to them and I want to just give you guys some tips to help you guys get better to do better in the public matches in the beta and kind of a pro's insight onto what to use, what to do and how to play. Alright guys, so I don't have all the guns unlocked, but I did on the PlayStation 4, and I had everything unlocked, and I just, I've been practicing with my team, so I don't have everything unlocked on the Xbox One beta just yet, but I do know how everything works and how good everything is, so don't be mistaken just by me not having everything unlocked, I do know how good everything is, I have had everything on the PlayStation beta. So, um, in terms of ARs, if you're an AR player, uh, you're going to want to either use the M8, the Man of War, the Ark. Obviously, those are three of the only ARs you can really use at this point, but um, those three seem to all be pretty good. The M8 is definitely the best, most versatile out of the three ARs. Um, it has fast shooting, um, you get a lot of one-burst kills, and it has virtually no recoil. Man of War is also a really good AR. It does really good damage. It doesn't have too bad of recoil, and it's fully automatic. So. Um, it's better if you like to hip fire more or if you just like to continuously shoot the Man of War is going to be your alternative to the M8 um, It's really nice to use when you just want to just hold down the trigger Arc is another assault rifle that I really enjoy using and I think that's the only other assault rifle that's viable compared to those two um, It's good because it can outgun some machine guns because it has a decent fire rate um, It's strong and up close. It's really good and medium range. It's really good, but it's got a lot of recoil, so it's not going to be able to fare against the ARs from a lot of distance, but it's still a good AR to use, and it can you can definitely do well. Moving on, talking about the submachine guns, the only two that are really viable are the Razorback or the CUDA. The Razorback is the best gun in the game right now. It's all-purpose. It's like the MSMC from Black Ops 2. You can shoot it across the map. Um, you can shoot it up close. You can hip-fire. It does pretty much everything. It has a fast fire rate and very good damage. Um, you're going to want to use quick draw and long barrel on that, obviously, and then you can use a third attachment. I've seen a lot of pros use red dot, but you're going to want to use quick, quick draw and long barrel, and it's just all purpose. It's really, really good, and um, it's definitely the overall best gun. Um, the CUDA is also a really good submachine gun. It's very, very um, mobile. You can run really fast with it. Um, it shoots really fast. It reminds me of the MP5, sort of, and um, if you're accurate, it's a great gun. Once again, you want to use quick draw and long barrel. Um, I think a lot of people are also using grip on that with primary gunfighter. But uh, yeah, that's another good gun to use on a close quarter map. Um, the Razorback you can pretty much use on any map. But the CUDA, if you use it on like EVAC and some of the smaller hills, it'll work really well for you. Moving on, the killstreaks that I've been using that have been working in at least the beta and the public matches have been UAV, Hellstorm, and Lightning Strike. Um, you're going to see all the pros really using the Hellstorm and Lightning Strike just because that's what we're probably all going to use in um, the competitive side of things, but the UAV obviously just helps me get a lot of kills in public matches And um, if you want to you know go off in those pubs You should probably use UAV just because it's easy to get and it shows you where everyone is and it's going to enable you to get the hellstorm and the lightning strike But yeah, um, other than that make sure you have hellstorm and lightning strike on your class uh, for your score streaks Moving on the specialist that I recommend I recommend you use either the war machine reject or glitch um, the War Machine is pretty much the War Machine from Black Ops 2. It shoots grenades, although it shoots three grenades at a time. So if you do direct impact somebody, it blows up like the other War Machine, just an explosion. And if you don't, it shoots three dead grenades that just blow up after a couple seconds of rolling on the ground. So the War Machine's really good. I've been using that in hard points, kind of to break hills. And then Reject is also good. You, when you die, you can come back to life. So it's essentially another life or last stand, kind of, but you get to come back to life. And a lot of people like to use that. And then also glitch is also really good because you can charge into a hard point. If you start to get shot, you can use your glitch and it puts you back a couple seconds previous in time. So you pretty much time travel back a couple seconds where you were on the map and you get another, you get a second chance pretty much. So reject and glitch are just good because you can make mistakes and, you know, come back from it. And war machine is just good for breaking hills. So those are the specialists that I recommend. Obviously you can use, you know, the Tempest or the bow and arrow. I just think that they're a little more difficult and these three are going to be a lot more beneficial and easier to use. And you can get the most out of them when you're playing. Okay. So other than your classes, your guns and your, you know, things you can use, um, a couple tips I can give you guys, at least for hard point is juggling hill. So basically what that is, um, is you get in a hill and you can, you know, get a few kills in the hill, get the hill time. Then you get out of the hill, you let somebody else get in it. So essentially you're hopping out of the hill, letting the time, letting there be dead time. You camp for a little bit. And when somebody gets in there, you hop in it, kill him. 
and then you get the time. So, or you, then you get the score for you know getting the hill time. So um, that's how you juggle a hill pretty much. Uh, but that's going to get you a lot of score streaks, and that's going to help you you know um, get your score streaks and help your team win the game. Because when you get kill streaks, you know it sets you up to break hills and stuff like that. So juggling hill is definitely something you guys should try to do. And also, on the, some of the smaller maps, um, for those of you who are getting stunned a lot, you need to use Flak Jacket or Attack Mask. Um, that's another tip that, I, I mean, it's kind of obvious, but you need to have classes with that. And what you should do to use, you know, Flak or Attack, you can take off an attachment on your submachine gun, throw a Flak on it, or throw a Attack Mask on it. And then, you know, you can get in the hill, and you won't get stunned, you won't get naded. And just use Quick Draw and Long Barrel. You don't need to use Grip, or you don't need to use a Red Dot. Get rid of the primary gunfighter, and just play the hill, because... If you're in the hill, it's going to be close gunfights anyway, and you won't have to deal with having, you know, extra attachments. You can just, you know, use a CUDA or a Razorback and just hip fire, or, you know, just get a really quick kill, and you won't need those extra attachments. So put flak attack on your class so you don't get stunned. And then if you aren't playing the hill that much, you should use stuns and nades. Um, that's really huge in this game. Stuns and nades have been, you know, dominating. I think they're going to have to nerf stuns, but that's another story. So I hope you guys really enjoyed these tips and tricks, a few basic things to help you get better in the beta and hopefully give you a kickstart for those of you who didn't really know what to use and for those of you who had lack of information and didn't really watch streams or anything. Hope you guys really enjoyed this and took a lot away from it. Um, please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you did. This was brought to you by Control Freak, and I'm out, guys. Peace.